Hello, everyone. Another book today at Cindy Harper Speaks. And I haven't read this book today. I haven't read this book before. So let's dive into it together. It's called Henry and Mudge Get the Cold Shivers. The story is by Cynthia Ryland and the pictures are by Susie Stevenson. So I bet this is Henry and I bet that's Mudge. What do you think? It's a chapter book. So the first chapter is The Sick Day, The Vet, A Big Kiss. Henry's big dog, Mudge, loved Henry's sick days. When Henry had a sore throat or a fever or a bad cough, he stayed home from school in bed. In the morning, Henry's mother brought him orange popsicles, comic books, and crackers. Mudge got the crackers. In the evening, Henry's father brought him great popsicles, comic books, and crackers. Mudge got the crackers again. Mudge loved sick days. But even though he loved Henry's sick days, no one ever thought that Mudge would get sick. No one ever thought that Mudge could catch germs, but he could. And one day he caught a lot of them. Look at all those germs. When Henry woke up and jumped out of bed, Mudge didn't move. He didn't get up. He didn't lick Henry's face. He didn't even shake Henry's hand. And he always shook Henry's hand in the morning. He just looked at Henry and wagged his tail a little. Henry and Henry's mother looked at Mudge and worried. Something's wrong, said Henry. His mother nodded her head. Mudge must be sick, said Henry. His mother nodded her head again. Mudge, said Henry, are you just wanting some crackers? But Mudge didn't want crackers. Mudge was sick. And he didn't even read comic books. The vet. Henry and Henry's mother tried to put Mudge in the car to go to the doctor. But Mudge was tired. He didn't want to go. Hop in, Mudge, said Henry. Mudge sat down on Henry's foot. Hop, Mudge, Henry said again. Mudge yawned and drooled on Henry's hand. Bad time, Mudge, Henry said, and Mudge hopped right in the car. They drove to the vet. Mudge knew the vet, and he didn't want to see her. She made him nervous. When they walked into her waiting room, Mudge started to shiver and shed. He did this every time he went to the vet. He shivered and shed. He always left a bunch of dog hair on her floor. When it was his turn to see the vet, Henry and Henry's mother had to pull him like a horse into the room. Hi, Mudge, said the vet. Mudge shivered. Bad day, Mudge, said the vet. Mud shed. He's losing, all, he's losing all his hair, said Henry. I know, said the vet. I'd better hurry or he may be bald before you get him home, Henry's mother laughed. But Henry couldn't laugh. He was too worried. He was scared. The vet looked at Mudge's wet eyes. She listened to Mudge's shivering chest. She felt Mudge's shedding stomach. Then she rubbed Mudge's big head. I need to check a few things, she told Henry. Can you wait outside? Henry wanted to say no. Henry wanted to say no way, but Henry said, all right. He went back to the waiting room with his mother. He sat and wondered if Mudge knew how to say ah. Oh. He wondered if Mudge would be okay. 
People are bringing all kinds of pets to the vet. Cat, a poodle, there's a bird. Another dog. A big kiss. Your dog has a cold, the vet told Henry. A cold, said Henry. I think so, said the vet. He has a fever. His throat is red. He's very tired, and he keeps asking me for some comic books. This time, Henry could laugh. You have to let him rest, said the vet. Henry nodded and gave him, oh, you have to let him rest, said the vet. Henry nodded and give him his medicine. Henry nodded again. So the vet's prescribing some medicine for Mudge. And don't kiss him until he's better, the vet said. Henry frowned. Aww, he said. When Henry and Henry's mother and Mudge got home, Henry fixed the sick bed for Mudge in the living room. He's getting all the blankets and pillows. He's getting socks and a ball and a bow. It had Henry's old blanket in it and five of Henry's dirty socks and Henry's baseball mitt and Henry's pillow and a stuffed moose. The next morning, Henry brought Mud some ice cubes, a rubber hamburger, and crackers. Henry got the crackers. In the evening, Henry brought Mud some ice cubes, a rubber hot dog, and crackers. Henry got the crackers again. But the next day, Mudge ate all of the crackers. His sick days were over. And Henry gave him a great big kiss. That was a sweet story. So Henry got, he was sick when the story first started. Then I think Mudge got sick hanging out with Henry in his room. And then Mudge got a cold. And then Henry nursed Mudge back to health. And now everybody's well. So if you like Henry and Mudge, get the cold shivers, please press like in the end. And I'll see you next time at Cindy Harper Speaks. Thanks for tuning in and bye for now.